There's no such a place like this in Thailand anymore, I think. That still in a unique area like Palat Noi. You can walk around here, you feel like you walk back in time, kind of 50 years ago, nothing has changed much. Tucked away at the edges of Chinatown, Talanoi is one of the oldest Chinese communities in Bangkok. And the Seoul Hentai Mansion is a hidden gem which stands testament to the neighborhood's long history and past glory. The mansion was built more than 200 years ago by members of the Seoul clan. Originally from the Fujian province of China, they made their fortune as traders. Even today, this elegantly decaying building is home for the descendants of the Seoul clan. This house is unique. You can't, I can't describe it, you know, it's like, um, I don't know, it's just, it's, I'm bonded to this house more than I bonded to anything else. In 1995, Pusak Poshen Shinda became a diving instructor, and in 2004, he turned the mansion's courtyard into a swimming pool because there weren't pools deep enough to teach diving in Bangkok. One day I was walking into this house, and the house looked very bad. We just think of, why don't I put the pool here? So at the same time, I can renovate the house. The family eventually opened its doors to the public. This was in the hope that the younger generation of Chinese descendants in Thailand would be able to learn about their roots. They now manage to attract both local and foreign tourists. Maybe 50 to 60 people will come to my house every day, but we don't charge them for entry fees. We don't know what to charge. We are giving out education, so we cannot charge for education. People would just walk in here and ask me, oh, this is how my foundation started their life here with one pillow and mattress. I would say yes. The pool manages to add to the charm of the old house while attracting diving enthusiasts in the city. It's very unique because we have a nice pool, four meter depth in the center of the Chinese courtyard house. I maintain my place by using the business, this scuba diving business. Part of the profit will go to keep the house as it is. It is a responsibility, but it's not somebody put it on my shoulder. Although recognized by the Thai government's Fine Arts Department for its distinctive conservation, the house garners no financial support from the state. If I need help from the government to look after my own asset, I have to give away the right to own my asset to the government. Therefore, I don't need the help. The family even turned down offers from wealthy investors who were interested in buying the mansion. A lot of people got homesick because you miss your country, you miss your friend, you, know, you miss your parents or something like that. But me, homesick means I miss this home, this house. But for the next generation, I don't want it to be an obligation for them. It's up to them, really. I won't be regret because nothing fails to last, and nothing lasts forever. But you have life to keep up and go on. <laughs>